Hi, this is Patrick Everson for Covers.com, coming to you from the Mirage Sportsbook right here on the Las Vegas Strip. Pleased to be joined by Jeff Stoneback, Director of Trading for MGM Resorts, which operates this great book here at the Mirage and many others up and down the Strip. Jeff, we're a couple of weeks out from college football getting underway. We've got kind of this protracted first week. It's the last weekend of August all the way through the first weekend of September. I want to talk on a, on a few of the games where you guys are seeing action and movement. Let's start with kind of the big news, the Florida-Michigan game, which is going to be in Arlington, a great neutral site game for the first week. But Florida over the weekend, seven players suspended for that game, including star wideout Antonio Callaway. What have you guys had to do there? Uh, well, actually, what we did is we took the game down. Michigan, uh, we had them up at minus three, minus 15. The news just came out last night, and uh, so we uh, took the game off the board. There's a while before they play, obviously, but uh, so we'll reassess it. And I'm look, uh, looking at Michigan probably being about a minus four, four and a half point favorite after uh, we rehang it. All right, very good. Moving along, perhaps the marquee game of the weekend, you got Florida State playing Alabama. That game also neutral site in New Orleans, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. What are we looking at there? Uh, well, we actually opened up Alabama as a seven and a half point favorite. Uh, we took some money on the dog there. Uh, now that we're at seven, we were taking quite a bit of money on Alabama. So, uh, you know, it looks like that line may go back up a little bit again. But uh, at this point, uh, the, most of the money is on Alabama at minus seven. All right, very good. And I assume public money on, as always, on the Crimson Tide. Uh, yeah, as always, every game we've been uh, rooting against Alabama. All right, very good. How about a couple more games over the course of that uh, protracted first week where you guys are seeing some action, some movement? Uh, well, there's not a, uh, you know, we're still a ways out for the games, but we have taken a lot of action on the UCLA and uh, Texas A&M game. Mm -hmm. We opened that game at uh, UCLA minus three, minus 120, and we're at three and a half right now. That game by far is the most action we've taken on uh, uh, the, the schedule so far. Right. Uh, another one, uh, uh, the biggest point mover has probably been uh, South Florida uh, over San Jose State. South Florida is supposed to be one of the best uh, non uh, power five teams in the uh, uh, nation this year. Mm -hmm. uh, they opened up at uh, 19. They're up to 20 and a half right now over San Jose State. All right, very good indeed. They're expecting kind of big things in South Florida. Maybe they can find their way into uh, one of the major bowl games, uh, uh, maybe the playoff, yes. but uh, that's what they're hoping down there. All right, great. So we look at a few games on the opening protracted first weekend college football docket. Thanks a lot to Jeff Stoneback for his insights. As always, for Covers.com, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter at Covers.